Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here. Uh, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking through some MLB player props I like on prize picks for today for Friday, uh, September the 2nd. We do have a big Friday night slate. As per usual on Friday nights, we got a lot of games. I think we have a full 15 game slate tonight. So there are a lot of player props to choose from on this slate. Prize picks posted their, uh, their pitcher props about an hour ago. Been looking through the board, trying to find a couple plays I like. And I think for this video, we're going to share two plays. I think moving forward, we're probably just going to stick to two picks. You know, see if I can find two picks that I'm really confident in, that I really like, kind of taking a first look at the board, just because I want to start, you know, just to get some wins. Um, we've been really struggling with our MLB plays, not been doing well. I don't, I'm pretty sure we haven't cashed a prop, or we haven't full cash, like, hit all of our plays, and I want to say, like, a week now. It's been really, really bad. Um, I thought Wednesday we were going to have a good day. I thought we were going to get a sweep on Wednesday. We gave out three picks Wednesday. Hit two out of three. Sadly, though, did not get the full sweep. Uh, we hit the over on Kyle Wright's strikeouts. He pitched a great game. I think seven shutout innings. Got six strikeouts, and we took over five. Uh, we took the over on Bailey Falter's fantasy score. He pitched a great game against the Diamondbacks. I think he actually doubled his projection. He needed 22 fantasy points, and I think he finished with over 40. Uh, he pitched six innings, only allowed one run. I think he had six strikeouts, got the win, too. So great game for Bailey Falter. Unfortunately, though, the one pick that missed was... Probably one of the worst beats ever. I mean, we took we took Drew Rasmussen or Rasmussen. We took him over five and a half strikeouts. First off, taking his line at five and a half was definitely a mistake on my part. I mean, I really liked the bet and I thought it. You know, I thought five and a half was a, a line that you know was correct for him. Uh, but shortly after I made my video, shortly after after I uploaded it to YouTube, I checked DraftKings Sportsbook. They had Rasmussen at four and a half, and obviously, Prize Picks they're gonna they're gonna adjust their lines to what the books have. So prize picks bumped Rasmussen down to four and a half. So already I wasn't feeling great about the Rasmussen play, but he came out and pitched really well. He pitched, uh, he got through three innings and had four strikeouts through three innings. So he only needed to get two more strikeouts. Um, and his pitch count was really low. Like after three, uh, after three innings, he had only thrown like 40 pitches and he only needed two more strikeouts. So I, even with the bad odds that we got, I, I was feeling pretty good about the play and Sure enough, man, Rasmussen pitches three more innings, gets zero strikeouts. He got four Ks through the first three innings. He got zero Ks the next three innings. He got through six innings. He had thrown 72 pitches through six innings. I thought, you know, okay, well, he got through six innings. He's only at 72 pitches. Maybe he'll come out, pitch another inning, maybe two, but I highly doubt it. But he should definitely pitch one more inning because, you know, he's only at 72 pitches. Well, guess what happens? Top of the seventh inning, Rasmussen gets pulled and finishes with four Ks. I mean, he had four Ks through three innings and finishes, pitches six more, or pitches three more innings and gets zero Ks, finishes with four. And that was our one play that missed on Wednesday, which was so tough, man. Um, you know, hopefully you guys did maybe, if you did a flex play, you could have still made some money or if you did a mix and match, which I know some people do. If you played Falter and Wright together, you maybe could have still profited on Wednesday, but it was super annoying not getting a sweet Wednesday. Um, decided not to make a video for Thursday just because it was a small slate, but we're back for Friday, man. We got a big slate tonight. I got two props that I like, you know, kind of taking a first look at the board on Thursday night. So but real quickly, before we talk through our two plays for today, guys, um, you know, as always, hit that like button if you do enjoy these videos. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And if you are new to Prize Picks, if you have not signed up for Prize Picks yet, uh, definitely get over there, sign up, make sure to use promo code NOLA. When you do, when you sign up with my promo code, you will get your first deposit matched up to $100. Yeah, we're starting to get to the, the best time of the year for sports, man. College football's on, on Thursdays, on Saturdays. I don't really do college football too often. I mean, I, it's something that I look at, but I don't really provide you know, college football content. Uh, but college football's going on right now. Obviously, NFL starts next week on Thursday. There's going to be a ton of you know sports you can bet on, a ton that you can choose from. On prize picks, you can do multi-sport entries. You can mix and match sports. Obviously, prize picks offers pretty much every sport imaginable. Um, so you y'all should definitely be uh, playing over there. If you have not signed up for prize picks yet, for sure get over there. Make sure to use promo code NOLA when you sign up. Get your first deposit match up to $100. Another thing, if you guys uh, enjoy these YouTube videos, if they help you out a lot, if you want to get more prize picks plays from me, um, I do provide those over on Patreon. Full transparency, man, we have not been doing well with our Patreon plays. You know, Kind of similar to the plays I've been giving out on YouTube. Not been doing very well with our Patreon plays either, but we did have a good day Thursday, thankfully. Um, and, you know, even though I didn't make a video for Thursday, I do always provide picks every single day on Patreon, even on the days I don't upload to YouTube. I still give plays on Patreon with the full in-depth write-up of each play that I like. We gave out three picks on Thursday. It was kind of a light day for me. Um, didn't like a ton on Thursday's board, but we did hit all three of our plays Thursday, um, which is obviously good because we need to build some momentum. 
with how bad we've been doing in MLB. Um, but if you guys want to get access to my additional prospects plays, get in our Discord chat, um, all that's available for Patreon members. Check that out. Link down below in the description uh, if you're interested. But let's go ahead and talk through our two picks for Friday Night Slate, guys. We've got two pitcher fantasy scores that I'm liking. I'm going to be trusting two aces, um, I guess you could say, even in some tougher matchups. I'm really liking these spots. Um, even though the matchups are kind of tough, I'm going to back the talent of both these pitchers. The first guy that we're going to talk about is going to be Sandy Alcantara. And we're going to be taking his over or taking him to get more than 38.5 fantasy points. He has to face the Braves today, which is obviously, you know, it's a somewhat of a tough matchup. The Braves do have a good lineup. They do have power. But I've said this all season, the Braves are a matchup that, you know, even though there's some downside, there's plenty of upside when you get to face the Braves because the Braves, so far this season, they do have the second highest strikeout rate against right-handed pitching. They have a 25.2% K rate against righties. You know, you look at their offensive numbers, their offensive numbers are, are solid. They're 12th in batting average against righties this season. Um, On-base percentage, Atlanta, you know, they're 18th. They've been about middle of the pack. You know, they've been about average to slightly above average. Like, there's definitely some categories that they do rank higher in. So, like, slugging, they rank high in slugging. Atlanta has a lot of power. Uh, they rank high in ISO. I mean, they have the third highest ISO. But one thing that Sandy Alcantara is really good at is that he doesn't really give up many home runs. He doesn't really give up much power either. I want to say that Alcantara has... I can pull this up real quick. I actually should have pulled it up um, before I started making the video, but I don't think he's given up like more than a few home runs this year. Um, I'll pull that up real quick just so I can check. So far this season, let's see if I can find Alcantara. Let's go to the Marlins. Excuse me for one second. Okay, so Sandy Alcantara, yeah, he's only given up he's only given up 10 home runs this year, which really is not that much. I mean, the league leader in home runs is, uh, I think it's Josiah Gray. It was Josiah Gray last time I checked. It's still Josiah Gray. He's given up 32 home runs. So for starting pitchers, I mean, about average home runs is like, you know, I would say like 15. And Alcantara has only given up 10 home runs this year. He doesn't really give up much power. He's very good at, you know, getting soft contact. He doesn't really give up a ton of barrels, a ton of hard hit balls. You know, this Atlanta offense, they have a lot of power, but their strikeout, you know, there's definitely strikeouts in this Atlanta offense. And Alcantara has pitched really, really well against Atlanta this year. He has faced them twice this season. And he has dominated in the two starts that he uh, that he faced the Braves. He actually faced the Braves in back-to-back -back starts. Faced them on May 22nd. Pitched a complete game shutout, uh, seven inning or nine innings, seven Ks. Uh, got 58 fantasy points last time he faced the Braves, or the first time he faced the Braves, and then he faced the Braves in his start after that. And he went seven innings, had or he went eight innings, excuse me, had 14 strikeouts, one earned run, and finished with 73 fantasy points. So. In his two starts against Atlanta this year, uh, Sandy Alcantara has had 58 and 73 fantasy points. I mean, obviously those are numbers that we can't expect today, but clearly Alcantara has had success in this matchup. He's coming off a great start against a tough Dodgers team. He went nine or he pitched a shot or not he pitched a complete game, nine innings with 10 strikeouts, only gave up one run, and his last start against the Dodgers had 64 fantasy points. Alcantara has shown that he can dominate in any matchup and. Although the Braves do have a lot of power, I think with their you know high strikeout rate, this is definitely a spot where even if Alcantara maybe gives up a couple runs, like I think he'll be able to get the strikeouts to match up for it. Um, right now, his K prop is set at six and a half. If Alcantara goes over that, if he gets seven strikeouts today, I have a very good feeling he's probably going to get 39 fantasy points as well. I want to say that almost every start of the season where he's had seven strikeouts or more, he's also had 39 fantasy points or more. We know Alcantara has a really big workload. He usually always pitches really deep into games. I mean, he threw a complete game in his last start. He's gone at least seven innings in like four out of his last five starts. I mean, the guy the guy will throw seven, eight innings if you know his pitch count's in check. He's definitely going to go six innings. I would say he's probably going to get a quality start. And I think he'll be able to get some strikeouts in this matchup. You know, Alcantara, although he's a really good pitcher, he doesn't have like the highest strikeout rate. He just has a 23.2% K rate this year. But clearly, this is a matchup that sets up well for strikeouts. Alcantara has shown that, going, you know, getting 21 strikeouts in two starts against Atlanta this year. So I like this quite a bit. I, I like this play. It actually opened at 40 and a half. I was surprised to see his line get bumped down from 40 and a half to 38 and a half. I kind of liked it when it was at 48, uh, 40 and a half, even with the bump down, even though that may be a little worrisome. Maybe people are betting the under here. I'm fine taking the over. I'll trust the talent of Alcantara. I think the strikeout upside he has in this matchup definitely. You know, I would say it outweighs the downside here. And Alcantara does a really good job at limiting damage. He rarely gets blown up. So I don't see him giving up more than maybe, you know, if at most three runs. If he gives up more than three runs, then we're probably going to lose anyway. But I think he'll be able to get a quality start, definitely get some strikeouts. 
Can he get a win? Maybe, you know, I, I doubt it with Charlie Morton on the mound for Atlanta. That's going to be, you know, it's going to be tough for Miami to put up runs against Morton, but I, I like this play. Over 38 and a half fantasy score is going to be our first pick for the day. And then to round out our two pick, taking another fantasy score prop. It's another pitcher in a really tough matchup, but I do like this line. I think this line is definitely too low. And it's going to be Yu Darvish. We're going to be taking Yu Darvish over or, you know, taking him to have more than 30 and a half fantasy score. Now, clearly, you know, going up against the Dodgers, this is not the spot that you want to target. I mean, the Dodgers are a really good offense. They're, you know, definitely one of the best lineups in, or one of the best teams in baseball. They have one of the best lineups in baseball. I mean, if you look at their offensive numbers, nothing here is going to, you know, appeal to you. 21.3% K rate is 23rd. So if they're towards the bottom of the league in strikeout rate, most of their offensive numbers are towards the top of the league. You know, second in batting average, first in on-base percentage, first in slugging, first in OPS. So, you know, the reason you're probably thinking like, Noah, why are you taking this prop if the Dodgers are so good? Well, for one thing, Hugh Darvish is a really good pitcher. He's pitched really well this season, and he's also done really well against the Dodgers. He has actually faced the Dodgers three times this season. He has gone over 30 and a half fantasy points in all three of his, uh, in all three of his starts against the Dodgers. So the first time he faced the Dodgers back on April 23rd, he pitched six innings with seven strikeouts, no runs allowed, had 43 fantasy points. Uh, then he faced the Dodgers again on July 2nd, pitched six innings with 10 strikeouts. He did give up five runs, but he got 10 strikeouts. He finished with 33 fantasy points. And then in his most recent start against the Dodgers, he went six innings with five Ks, two runs allowed, and finished with 31 fantasy points. So he's gone over this line in all three of his starts against the Dodgers. Uh, Darvish has actually made 24 starts this season, and he has 31 fantasy points in uh, 21 out of 24 starts. I mean, he's al he's almost gone over this line in every single start this year. There's only been three starts where Darvish has had less than 31 fantasy points. Uh, he had negative 16 against the, the Giants. I think we can kind of chalk that one up as a, a little bit of a fluke. He had 14 fantasy points in one start against the Braves, and then he had 20 fantasy points and one start against the Cardinals. All other 21 starts that Darvish has made this year, he has 31 fantasy points or more. Now, clearly, obviously this line is low because the, the matchup is so tough, but I still think Darvish is a good enough pitcher that you know he can, he can have success in this matchup. Maybe he gives up a few runs, but he's a good pitcher with decent strikeout stuff. There's definitely some strikeouts to be had in this Dodgers lineup. Like you got, you got Joey Gallo in there, who's a guy that will strike out a lot. Uh, Cody Bellinger will definitely strike out um, you know, if, if um, Chris Taylor's in the lineup, I don't know if he'll be in the lineup against a righty, but he strikes out a lot. I mean, the Dodgers, they have a 4.5 implied run total. So like their run total isn't too high. It's not like, you know, it's not like Vegas is expecting Darvish to get blown up here. Um, you know, it's not like the Dodgers have like a crazy high run total. So I'm kind of banking on Darvish getting like, you know, a quality start. If he, if he goes six innings with five strikeouts and two runs allowed, that's 31 fantasy points, which is what he did in his last start against the Dodgers. I feel like he can do that, but he could even go like seven or eight innings. We've seen Darvish kind of similar to like Alcantara. We've seen Darvish have games where he pitches like really deep into the game. I mean, his recent start against KC, he went seven innings. Um, in a recent start against the Nationals, he almost pitched a complete game. He went eight and a third innings. He's gone at least six innings and in like, if it, I'm pretty sure like 15 straight starts now. He's gone at least six innings. He's got a quality start in like you know 12 out of those 15 starts, so... Really, if he gets a quality start here, he's pretty likely to hit this fantasy score. Six innings, six Ks, three runs allowed. That's 31 fantasy points. You know, again, six innings, five Ks, two runs allowed. That's 31 fantasy points. Not even factoring like any win equity. I mean, the chances of him getting a win are not super high here because you know Dustin May is going to be pitching for the Dodgers. Dustin May is a pretty good pitcher, but you know the the Padres have a good lineup. They could definitely put up some runs against Dustin May. I wouldn't be surprised if they do. If Darvish can get a win, I mean, that's even better. I'm going to back the talent of Dar uh, Darvish here with how well he's pitched this year. I think, you know, even though it's a tough matchup, I feel like Price Picks is doing him a little dirty, setting his fantasy score line at 30 and a half. If he can just pitch a decent game, like, and just avoid, like, getting blown up, I think he gets 31 fantasy points. He doesn't have to pitch a perfect game, you know, six innings, six Ks, three runs, that, that puts him over, so... It's kind of what I'm banking on here. Like, like the spot for, or I wouldn't say I like the spot for Darvish, but I like this line at 30 and a half. I think this is too low, even for the tough matchup uh, against LA. So, is it, uh, these are the two props that I'm liking for uh, Friday night's you know big MLB slate, guys. Again, I just I think for for now, like kind of moving forward, I just want to give out a two pick every day, find two plays that I'm really confident in, and just kind of run those two instead of trying to find a third play or you know maybe even like a fourth play. Just give out two picks I really like, and hopefully we can get a string of caches moving forward. Um, obviously, want to try and get a cash tonight. 
We'll see. I don't know. I don't know if I upload any videos over the weekends, but maybe you know. Hopefully, if we can get a cash tonight, maybe I'll upload a video for Saturday. We can, you know, hit a two pick for Saturday. But definitely want to get some wins these last few days of the MLB season, leading up until you know, leading up to NFL. I don't know yet when NFL gets here if I'm gonna still make MLB videos. It's kind of to be determined. Um, but I, I like this MLB slate. It's a lot. You know, a lot of games, a lot of props to choose from. These were the two that I you know like the most, and and it's what I'm gonna be running for today. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, as always, I appreciate you watching. Hit that like button. If you did enjoy, hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. Also, if you're new to Prize Picks, sign up for Prize Picks. Use promo code NOAH. Get your first deposit matched up to $100 when you do sign up with my promo code. And if you guys want more Prize Picks plays from me, I do provide those over on Patreon. I give a full in depth write up for all the plays that I'm on for the day. Also, I provide my favorite two plays of the day. So, out of all the plays I'm on, YouTube plus Patreon, um, I figure out my favorite two. Give those out on Patreon as well. Again, you can check that out. All you know, check all that out if you're uh, interested. It's linked down below in the description. It is the first of the month, or it's kind of you know, it's early on in the month, and the, uh, those are always the best times to to join the Patreon if you've ever you know been wanting to join. But good luck tonight, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoy your Friday night. Let's try and win some money tonight, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.